Hello, this is Rachel from Kalkine Media. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. Now let's talk about the banks. The S&P SX200 Financials, which has Australian banks as its constituents, has rallied heavily this year. The index has surged by a whopping 31.52% on a 52-week basis. On a year-to-date basis, the index has surged by 16.72% in 2021, which would mean an annualised return of 26.37%. However, most of these gains were cornered towards the first five months of this year. The trend seems to have changed in the past month when the index gained just 2.74%. The same trend is also reflected in the individual bank stocks. Even as banks have continued to come up with products and announcements that would have a positive impact on its earnings, yet in the last month their shares have corrected after almost a year of rallying. On that note, let us shed some light on what has been happening with Australia's big four banks. The Commonwealth Bank of Australia is the most valued company on the Australian Stock Exchange. The shares of the bank surged 35.54% in the post-pandemic rally and peaked to a value of $105.91 on the 17th of June. But that is where it all stopped, despite the bank announcing the sale of its insurance arm during this period, a move that will have a positive impact on its earnings, shares of the bank have corrected by 4.71% during this period. The bank has also announced launch of new products during this period. Australia's second largest bank, the Westpac Banking Corporation, outperformed its larger peer for the last year, rallying 40.1%. However, in the past month, it's underperformed against the Commonwealth Bank, with its shares having tumbled 5.12%. This correction has come despite the fact that the bank, during this time, sold a New Zealand life insurance business to Fidelity Life, a move that will add approximately seven basis points to Westpac's common equity tier one capital ratio. Shares of the ANZ have doubled on a yearly basis, but that was just until a month ago. ANZ shares are now showing a 52-week return of 47.96%. In the last month, these shares have corrected by 3.66%. NAB shares have rallied 43.73% on a 52-week basis, despite correcting by 2.02% in the last month. This is despite the fact that the biggest positive news from Australia's banking space in the last month has come from this bank. The bank is in talks with Citigroup for sale of Citi's retail assets in Australia. Now, if you like this information, please like, share and comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. For regular updates and information, log on to our website, calkinemedia.com. I'm Rachel signing off for Calkine Media.